Prime Core, fully seated. Activity levels at 35.72, 36.18, 37.95. No sign of chimeric transformation. Understood. The particle gun is online and ready to fire. Whenever you're ready. Let's begin. Well then, have the next candidates been chosen? Yes, they have. But they're not from our usual channels. They're two new officers who just joined Criminal Affairs. Hmm. They're... They're Captain Max's children. The twin orphans he took in. I've seen their test results, and frankly, Doctor, none of our other candidates come close. I've already taken the liberty of filing for their transfer to Neuron. Hmm. I understand.
Brenda. Where are the two new candidates now? Doctor, we've just received reports from the police of a confirmed gate opening in Central City. All available officers have been sent to investigate. I assume the twins are no different. Hmm, that will do. Let's consider this their field test. But sir, we haven't even briefed them on the project. Never mind that. If they were to fail now, we couldn't use them anyway. Brenda, humankind no longer has any more time to waste on useless formalities. Attention! We've got several eyewitness reports of gate openings in Central City, Zone 36. All officers, ensuring civilian safety is your top priority. If you see any aberrations, take them out and keep the damage from spreading. Repeat. Calling all officers en route to Grand Avenue. Watch out for abandoned vehicles on the highway. The area's been designated Red Shift Level D. We've confirmed reports of civilian aberration. We have approval from the Union to use lethal force on any aberrations. Exercise your best judgment when engaging these targets. That is all. This is Akira Howard. I've just arrived on scene. Yeah. <laughs> HQ, do you read me? There's too many aberrations to count. They've blocked off the highway. I guess we're looking at multiple gates along the road. It must be spreading to everyone passing through. There's too many of them to handle. I need backup, now. This is HQ. We're concentrating our firepower on Central City at the moment. Special Ops Bureau's orders. We will send over whoever we can once things have calmed down. Hold tight until then. What? You've got to be kidding me! <laughs> Damn it! Without backup, we're done. You can hear me, right? Where the hell are you? Come on, get over here! Now! See you. Give me a hand, will you? Oh, it's the wheels. I can't move. Come with me. The chopper's this way.
Thanks for your help. I can take it from here. There's more choppers on the way. That chopper's okay. Check out the crash site. Eyes open out there. Aberrations don't care if you're hurt. You better heal up whenever you can. We've got to take care of our buddy here. You go on ahead.
in time, huh? Dad? Better put the reunion on hold. Max, you must let them use the Legatus. Wait, wait, wait a minute, Commander! What the hell are you saying? You cannot expect them to fight Chimeras on their own. This is an order, Captain. Don't worry about calibration. I've already loaded their personnel data into those devices. If you say so. Ah. Captain, are you serious? What, what is this thing? That thing will let you use a legion of your own. you two wouldn't get caught up in all this. Damn it, Commander. Oh. Now don't go dying on me.
Are you okay? You nearly gave me a heart attack. Are you sure you've never used a Legion before? You're already way better at it than Max. <laughs> I'm standing right here, Alicia. <sighs> but I gotta admit, that was something. The damn thing moved like it was a part of your body. Okay. Copy that. Understood. Well, that seems to be all of them. We'd better get back to HQ. All right. You two are coming with us. I'm trying to explain all this later. been waiting for you. You two have been chosen to join our special task force, Neuron. We've already cleared your transfers from criminal affairs. 
This is an order from the Union itself. Consider it a promotion you can't turn down. An order from the Union? W wait, wait a minute, Commander. I'm still the captain around here. And these two... They're my kids. You couldn't have run this by me before? Desperate times, Max. Captain or not, surely you understand the position humankind is in. I understand how you must feel. But I need you to be... flexible. Ah, shit. Well then, I'll give you the short explanation. As you know, humanity faces the very real threat of extinction. Most believe this is due to mass corruption from the gates. But the truth is, there are worse dangers, which the Union finds prudent to keep classified. Dangers from beyond the gates. Invaders from a dimension outside our own. Chimeras like the ones you've just seen for the first time. They're invisible to the naked eye, but they cast a dimensional shadow in certain circumstances. That's how we were able to detect them in the first place. But still, we were powerless to stop them. <sighs> Meanwhile, the Chimeras dragged countless victims back to their dimension. Their corruption tainted the land itself. With most of the planet uninhabitable, we survivors fled here, to this artificial island we call the Ark. We thought we were safe, and we were for a while. But as you know all too well, it didn't last. At this rate, all of humankind will be pulled into the Chimera's dimension. We're facing down the end of the world. But I refuse to accept such a fate for our species. Through blood, sweat, and years of research, we finally made it. The ultimate counter-chimeric weapon. By neurologically sinking captured chimeras with human operators, we established control and made powerful allies. I'm referring, of course, to the legions. The legions gave you your first look at the dangers we truly face, but also a taste of the pinnacle of human ingenuity. But of course, not just anyone can use them. Only a precious few people have the natural faculties to synchronize with a legion. People like you. I'm sure this is a lot for you to process right now, but... Your species needs you. Your species chose you. The two of you hold the future of humankind in your hands. We're counting on you. And now, I hand you over to him. Well, it's been a while, huh? Your dad told me you'd join the police, but uh, I never imagined we'd see you here in Neuron. But growing up with Max around, it's no surprise you turned out tough. Now that you guys are here, let me officially welcome you to the team. Oh, you should have seen Max's face when he found out you were coming. But between us, I think he's happy you're here. There's only five of us right now, but there are more candidates waiting for the ARI to make more legions. I know the commander talks a lot of gloom and doom, but relax. More help is on the way. Uh, eventually. Anyway, first things first. It's time to get to know your legion. There's a training room downstairs. We'll go there and work on your fundamentals. I'll call the others. Huh. Max isn't picking up. Uh, do me a favor and get him and Alicia for me, will you? I bet you'll find him up on the roof. 
I'll head downstairs and set up the training room. See you there in a bit. Oh, that's right. Open up the menu in your Legatus and you'll find a map of the station. Might come in handy if you get lost. Jin hasn't changed a bit, has he? How long has it been since we last saw him? Two years? Hey, remember when Dad was in the hospital and Jin came to take care of us? His cooking wasn't the greatest, but... But when you think about it, Jin's always been there for us. We've got to find some way to make it up to him.
You guys need something? Um, Jin was trying to reach you earlier, Dad. He told us to bring you down to the training room. Uh-huh. So that's the call you ignored earlier. So, what's the matter, Dad? <laughs> Look, if I've never changed your diapers, you don't get to call me Dad. 
And neither do you, Akira. Just keep it professional. It's Captain here. I'm sure Jin can handle your training on his own. But there's nothing I can teach you that he can't. Aw, oh, he's just acting tough. You guys know he's just worried sick about you, right? Alicia, why do you keep doing that? Um... What? Considering we're gainfully employed adults, shouldn't our captain take more responsibility for us than our father? Ugh. <laughs> it's gonna be fun having you guys around. Anyway, you two report to Jin for your training. Tell him I'm... I'm busy. That goes for me, too. Sorry. But make sure Jin teaches you a lot, okay? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am? Uh, we don't have to keep it that professional. I mean, we're all on the same team now, after all. Yes, ma'am. I mean, thanks. Alicia seems nice, and she sure seems to get along well with Dad. I mean, the Captain. Seeing him here with Jin and Alicia, it's a side of him I've never seen before. It feels weird. There you are. Ready to train? Wait, where's the captain and Alicia? Oh, they, uh, the captain said you could handle it. Uh, that guy's more sensitive than he looks. Oh, well, that's not a bad thing, I guess. All right, I'll run you through the basics. Before we continue, strap this thing on your back.
Great, looks like it fits. That's your Legatus Cradle. Neuron regulations say to keep your Legatus stowed in that cradle when you're not out in the field. And here's your Integrated Reality Imaging System, IRIS. You'll forget how you ever cracked cases without it. All right, let's start with an easy one. Point your iris at the computer terminal over there. Find it okay? All right, now boot up the terminal and try out a training program. It's a self-guided routine, so you can skip over anything you don't think you need to cover. Information display. Information display. Play. Iris, shut down. Try out a training program. All right, let's begin. Here goes. Let's see you move to the circle in the middle of the room. Not bad. Next stop is dashing. Time to break a sweat. Let's see if you can dash through all these circles. Not bad. That's all for this program. What's next? All right, let's begin. Hit the target the old fashioned way. No legion. Great. Hit a target from behind and you'll do more damage. Try to hit the target from behind. that right? That one hit a lot harder than usual. That's a critical attack. You can also aim for the head if you want to do critical damage. Go for critical hits whenever you can, and battle will go a lot more smoothly. That's all for this program. What's next? All right, let's begin. Try locking on to that enemy. If there's more than one target, no problem. Try switching your lock on to a new target. Flick your right stick to move your focus between targets. Not bad. That's all for this program. What's next? All right, let's begin. Try and dodge the enemy attack. Not bad. Let's try a perfect dodge next. Get out of the way just before an enemy attack lands. If you pull it off, it'll feel like everything but you has slowed down. Take advantage of that and strike back at the enemy. Give it a shot. That's all for this program. What's... All right, let's begin. 
Items you find get added to your shortcut menu and can be used quickly and at any time. All right, you're gonna get a little roughed up here, so use the medicine you have on hand to heal up. Not bad. Keep an eye out for supply crates while you're in the field. They're there to help you. You can unlock them with your Legatus. Anything you find inside is yours, if it helps with the mission. Looks like you got a few kinds of items. Take a look at your shortcut menu. Okay, now switch your active item to grenades. They're combat items. Use a grenade on the target. Watch your aim. Not bad. That's all for this program. All right, let's begin. Send out your legion like you're throwing it at a target. That'll start you off on the right foot. It's good for when your target's high up or otherwise out of reach. Okay, now pull your legion back. Part of the job is knowing when to pull your legion out of trouble. Now the legion can't stay out forever. You've got to keep an eye on its limiter gauge or there could be trouble. If that gauge hits zero, you won't be able to call the legion back out until it fills up again. Be sure to give the legion a break to cool down every now and then. All right, switch your legion off. See, once you call off the legion, the limiter gauge starts filling back up. Always watch your gauge. That's all for this program. All right, let's begin. Get in the middle circle. Now move your legion through the blue circles that appear around you. Not bad. That's all for this program. What's next? All right, let's begin. Okay, attack the enemy with your legion. Your legion will attack automatically if you send it out or get it close to a target. One down, one to go. Take it out. That's all for this program. All right, let's begin. You can use your legion's astral chain to bind targets. Move your legion around the target and try to wrap it up in your chain. Keep it still for a while, and you'll be able to pummel it while it's temporarily defenseless. It doesn't actually hurt, so it makes a good way to subdue fleeing suspects, too. That's all for this program. All right, let's begin. Here's something cool you can do with your Legion's Astral Chain. First, watch the target for a sign that it's going to charge. When it does, move your Legion and try to stop it with the chain. You can stop it with the chain and throw it back where it came from. Nice work, you're a natural. That's all for this program. 
All right, let's begin. Switch on your iris and give the target a look. Iris and startup. If the target's dangerous, you can see how much damage it's taken. You can also look up civilian profiles in a flash and keeps all the info you gather while on the case close at hand. Okay, Iris off. Iris, Once you've down. analyzed a foe, you can see how much you've damaged it, even with your Iris off. Handy, huh? That sums it up. That's all for this program. All right, let's begin. Here, you can pick an opponent and go toe-to-toe -to -toe for as long as you want to. When you're ready to quit, choose Change Program or Quit Training from the System Menu. training program you want to try. All right, let's begin. of this program that'll do for today attention neuron officers the police have requested neurons assistance please report to the command room repeat the police have requested neurons assistance please report to the command room Well, looks like it's time for your first assignment. I'll go on ahead, and don't keep us all waiting, guys. <laughs> <laughs> 